God bless you, saints. This is Pastor Omar Muhammad, your proactive agent of change, who communicates so that others might be healed, liberated, and appreciated. Tonight, I'm giving you a view of our pond uh, in the evening before I go to bed. Uh, it's gonna be crazy over here. Um, for some reason, the the, um, the DWP is doing so many kind of Edison is doing so many repairs, so it's going to be a blackout in just a few minutes. So I wanted to catch up with you before I got away. This is Freestyle Friday, and this is uh, Pastor Omar Muhammad, your proactive agent of change, who communicates so that others might be healed, liberated, and appreciated. Uh, tonight, 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 I am freestyling from the thought, if you don't mind, it don't matter. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter, is what I put on it. I wrote it out grammatically, if you don't mind, it doesn't matter. That that thought came to me, uh, of, oh, I think maybe two summers ago, while I was working with some young people, 18 to 24 year olds. Some of you may know, I've done a lot of work in youth development work with the um, Youth Bill uh, movement, uh, this national movement, Youth Bill movement, Big Up Youth Bill, wherever you are, and with the uh, Los Angeles Conservation Corps, which is one of the largest conservation corps in the nation. I spent some time with the young youth, youth program there. And what I discovered when I was working with 18 to 24 year olds was that by the grace of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, uh, I have been able to um, basically keep my body in, in, in order. I would teach the young people uh, another thing. I, how do I would say it? I said, um, uh, uh, PT for life is within my short saying. PT for life, and that means physical training for life. I remember when I was about 18 and 19 years old, I was at uh, Morgan State University, maybe 19, and I decided then, right then, there, I was gonna not, I was not gonna be one of those uh, fat preachers who couldn't even, uh, couldn't, you know, hardly breathe. They'd be like, <gasps> I was like, no way, I'm gonna be one of those preachers. I just looked at that and said, that that doesn't glorify God, that doesn't honor God. Uh, when you are acting and you can't hardly breathe, and your body is out of shape, your temple is is all uh, 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 not together. And so what has ha what has happened is I've been trying to, by the grace, by wisdom and understanding and knowledge and nutrition and all the things I can do, keep my body in order. And for the most part, I have. So so that when I was working with the young people in Venice, California, at Venice Community Housing with the Venice Youth Bill, I was able to run with the, the big ones. So I was able to, we would, we would do this exercise where we were, um, once a year, we would run to the beach, you know, as a part of our program, not just once a year, but a part of our program, we would run to the Venice Beach from, uh, if, you, if you're anywhere in this area, it would be from Lincoln and Rose down to the beach, which is about maybe two, and a, maybe two miles, maybe two miles, uh, and maybe two miles back. And I would be running with the young people, just running, 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 running with the young people. But uh, then one time on the way back, one of the young people, I realized that most of the young people couldn't, couldn't hang with me. I would be leaving them behind. Sometimes I would try to run with them, but I was like, y'all too slow. I got to keep it moving. I, if I'm going to finish this race, I'm going to have to keep it moving. So then while I was uh, coming back with the young people, I told a uh, young, I, I just came to my mind to a young per person that came from a thought that uh, mind over matter, mind over matter. You remember that concept, mind over matter? And, I, and so I took that to another level and said, if you don't mind, it don't matter. If you don't mind, it don't matter. What does that mean? If you don't put your thought to the pain and the anguish that you're feeling while you're running, if you don't put your thought to the pain and anguish that you're feeling while you're running the race of life, if you're not focused on suffering, if you're not focused on pain, then it won't materialize in your life. If you don't mind, it don't matter. And so when I start thinking about that, the real deal about that is this. If you do not put your mind and focus on the negativity, if you don't put your mind and focus on darkness, if you don't put your mind and focus on um, uh, on the pain, like I said, of growth or the pain of, of running, then it doesn't matter. It doesn't materialize. It doesn't become something real in your life. So I want to encourage young people and, and everybody today that if you don't mind, it don't matter. Don't put your mind on things that, that are, don't bring glory and honor to God. Don't keep your mind on stuff that doesn't that doesn't help you and doesn't keep uh, and keep your mind going. It says, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus and whatsoever things are good whatsoever things are perfect whatsoever things are right upon these things keep this what you think about this is what you keep your mind on so I want to encourage you today that if you don't mind it don't matter today I had to work that out even for myself today my son called me his today um, my, my number three son uh, he was uh, having a concert at his school now I have been driving uber driving all day I have been um, doing some other business deals trying to make sure that I get uh, the right kind of things going in my house 
and, and I uh, did some Uber drive, I mean, some work last night, and I was just tired. I mean, tired to the bone. But my son said, Daddy, are you going to come to the concert? This is his very first concert. He's um, using the clarinet. He's a, in the um, all-star beginner's band. And I was like, man, how, how can I encourage this boy? And then I remember what I was going to bring to you tonight. If you don't mind, it don't matter. So that when my wife dropped me off at the house and said, man, listen, I'll drive for you, but, but I'm not going to go, go to that concert. I'm just going to go to bed. I'm tired, too. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to. My son, I heard the disappointment in his voice when I said I might not make it. So I, I summoned my strength and I said, you know what? It's mind over matter. I have a spirit. I have a mind and I can make my body do what I need to do. I can bring my body into submission to the will of God. I can bring my body into submission to my will. I learned that from my plank, my plank and pray. If any of you saw my plank and pray for 20, uh, 21 days, I did a plank and pray. And I'm telling you, God, God showed me something in that plank and pray. He showed me that whatever we set our mind to do, we can do. My wife, my, uh, my wife challenged me to 21 days of planking and praying. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. And so then uh, when the first couple of days, you know, I might have did a two or three minute plank. But I'm telling you, I was confused. I was distorted. I didn't know what to do because when I was in that plank, my mind was like trying to my mind was trying to do the thing for my body to keep my, my core tight but at the same time you're asking me to pray you're asking me to say something but the more I did it the more things got kept getting stronger and stronger the thing is if you don't mind it don't matter if you can keep your mind stayed on God if you can keep your mind stayed on good if you can keep your mind stayed on right if you put your mind in the right place it won't matter the pain you feel in fact it'll start it'll stop it'll stop painting you don't even feel it anymore because you put your mind over your material thing you put your mind over your flesh you put your spirit over um the body you can put your spirit over and it's the spirit and the mind are connected together the heart you can put your mind together but what I discovered during the plank and pray was that we have a partnership with God that if we we, the body that we have, it is animated by the spirit of the living God. And if we allow the spirit of the living God to animate our body and to give us strength, and we can, see, can, we can see ourselves as connected with God, co-laboring with him, that he can give us the strength. Good to see you, Tracy. 36. Um, thank you for joining. This is Pastor Omar Muhammad. I am your proactive agent of change who communicates so that others might be healed, liberated, and appreciated. You will have to check out the Catch Me because I'm about to finish this. But this is Freestyle Friday. This is when I just go for what I know. So I was talking, I was telling the young people, I was telling um, earlier about what my, uh, my thought for the day is. If you don't mind, it don't matter. If you don't mind, it don't matter. And I was talking about how I discovered this when I was running with the, with the young people, 18 to 24 years. I, I was around uh, 50, 49, 50 when I was running with the 18 to 24 year olds. And I was outrunning them. And then as I was running back from the Venice, uh, from Venice Beach, coming back to our, our headquarters, I was saying to the young people, come on, man, keep going. And they were like, ah, oh, man, uh, 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 Doc Omar, I can't do it. It's too much. I think they walking and stuff like that, coughing. <laughs> and I'm saying, come on, man. And I told them, pick up your feet. And say, repeat after me, if you don't mind, it don't matter. If you don't mind, it don't matter. And it was like, what, do you, what does that mean? If you don't mind, it don't matter. I said, if you don't put your mind on the pain, if you don't put your mind on the fatigue, if you don't let that stay in your mind, it won't materialize in your body. As long as you're thinking about being tired, you're going to be tired. Have you ever thought about, oh, I think I'm getting tired. Next thing you know, you and your whole family is getting tired because you put your mind on it. Whatever you set your mind to do, that is what you're going to accomplish. Whatever you set your mind to do. If you set your mind to do a, 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 a extra, extra extraordinary feats, it will do it. There was one man I was talking about uh, just before you got on. I was talking about how my wife challenged me to a plank and pray. I planked for 21 days, not 21 days straight, but for 21 days, the challenge was to plank for a little while and to pray and to speak. But I got, I got hyped about it. My first couple of days, I was three minutes. And then by the time my birthday was February the 6th, I was doing, my, ch my daughter challenged me, can you do a 15 minute plank? Yeah, I said, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna set my mind beyond 15 minutes and see what I can do. Do you know on my birthday, because my, my daughter challenged me, I, I, I was able to go 16 minutes. Now, I'm going to tell you, did it hurt? Yeah, it was painful. Yeah. After a while, my elbows started to have bruises in it. But I had, to, I had to do this thing. I wanted to test this thing out. If you don't mind, it don't matter. So I set my mind above my goal. I set my mind above my body and said, body, you're going to have to get into submission. Body, you're going to have to fall into line. I control. My spirit controls my body. My body don't tell me what to do. My mind tells me what to do. My spirit tells me what to do. And combined together with God, we can't. there's nothing that we can't do. So then I 
I said, okay, 21. So by the end of 21 days, my daughter said, Daddy, you already did your goal, 15 minutes. Can you do, since it's going to be the 21 day, can you do 21 minutes? And I said, well, I don't know, Sophia. I said, I'm going to try to do 21 minutes. Do you know what I got on my knees? I opened up the scripture, and the scripture that I used for that one was this. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the good news to the uh, poor, the, uh, to bind up the brokenhearted, to, to, to proclaim liberty to those who are captive. And just that thought that God has emp empowered me and strengthened me to be a blessing to other people that thought turned my body into us like a still being and i was able to do not only 21 minutes of planking i was able to do 22 plus minutes of planking and i knew that i can go further if i chose to but i decided to lay it down and then i got some revelation about what jesus did jesus laid down his life for his brethren he didn't nobody took his life nobody killed jesus on his own no jesus said if god if father if this the way this this particular uh, dramatic story has got to end if this if, it, if i have to give up my life in order that other people might love and be appreciated and be healed then i'm going to lay down my life willingly so that other people might be able to get up and do what they got to do. So I want to encourage you to let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. He thought it not robbery to be equal with God. What was that all about? Jesus was, Jesus was walking around with God's mind in him. And I want to declare to you, my friend, that God's mind can be in you. The same mind that was in Jesus can be in you. You can begin to think like Jesus think and walk like Jesus walk and talk like Jesus talk and do like Jesus did. He said greater things than you can do than, than, than he has done. And so that's available to us if we allow our minds to get beyond the limitations that we have put on it. Like I said to you, them young people were coughing and falling out. But I said, you know what? I'm not going to let these young people, be, uh, uh, um, I'm not going to let these young people show me up. I'm going to surpass them. I'm going to let them show to show, show them that if they can stop smoking that weed, if they can stop get smoking them cigarettes, if they can stop living that, that reckless life that does not allow their body to be its optimum best, if they can do that, if they can eat a vegetarian lifestyle like I've done for the past 15 years, if they can start turning their life into something good, then they can do what I can do. They can run with the big dog. They can have strength and stamina at a 52 years, I mean at 52 years old. Actually, 53, I'm planking 23 seconds. If you don't mind, it don't matter. Now, are you going to feel pain? Yes. Are you going to feel some things? Yes. But you don't let that thing dominate your mind. You, don't, you do not allow that thing to dominate your mind. You allow what you want to dominate your mind. Allow your goals to dominate your mind. Allow your spirit to dominate your mind. Allow love to dominate your mind. When you do those things, there's nothing that you cannot do. My friend, I'm going to get up out of here. If there's any questions or any concerns, if you want to interact with me before I go, go ahead and type something out there. And if you thought that this was good, send me a, just tap that screen and give me some little, little bit of love and say, you know what, that was all right. Pastor Omar, you can come back again next week. Thank you. I appreciate that because here's what's going to happen. I do appreciate it. Here's what's going to happen. I, I broadcast every week. And I, be, I started, we worried about, will God give me a word today? Will God give me a word today? God gives me a fresh word, a fresh anointing every single day. And he'll do the same for you. Here's how I do it. On Monday, we do something called Monday Matters. So you can check me out on Monday or Tuesday and look at the rebroadcast and you'll see that. On Tuesday, we do something called Table Talk with Pastor Ohm. And then we, that's when we talk about, you know, real life discussions of things. This week, we talked about fathers. We talked about the absentee father and the role of a father in terms of developing the spiritual and theological understanding of a child. If, and I just give you a brief, simple thing. If you, if as a father, if you did not present God and represent God in a good way, that child may have some serious theological problems. That child may not even be able to, to love God because, they, because their first God in their life, which was you, you messed up that program for them. Or, or, this, or, or whoever it is. So, Table Talks with Pastor O. On Wednesday, we deal with global issues. This Wednesday, we did 10 of the top 10 global concerns of the world, and we focus on drug addiction. And we pray that we pray that God would break that spirit of drug addiction and give us a new thing. Now, on Thursdays, it's throw thankful throwback Thursday. We start with gratefulness and then we end up uh, teaching some aspect of the Hebrew or Christian Bible, and we just teach out of it. This time, I just bless the people. Go, you have to look at it. It's on Catch dot me dot omar a muhammad you can find it and today is freestyle friday and we just roll with it on freestyle friday today freestyle friday thought for the day was if you don't mind it don't matter and as i always close my broadcast this is how i do it i say keep your hands clean and your heart pure now why do i say that because in this society where they got cameras everywhere people can take your pictures and they just post post it on facebook post it on, on instagram and you'd be like how did they do that and i i didn't even know anybody was watching you let me tell you they're always watching you 
Somebody got a camera somewhere. Somebody's recording your words. Somebody's recording your thing. So if they come and find you doing something, let them come and find you doing something good. Let them come and find you doing right. If your hands are clean, that means your actions are good. If your if your if your heart is pure, that means your thoughts are good. And so there's nothing that anybody can do about that. Nobody's gonna put you in jail for that. And if they do, God's going to deal with that situation. All right, I got to go. This is Pastor Omar Muhammad, your proactive agent of change who communicates to us so that others might be healed, liberated, and appreciated. Thank you for hanging out there with me. God bless you. I'm out.